Selena Gomez in the window. I'm so excited for this. Selena! Hi! While many of today's wealthy celebrities reside in opulent mansions, their humble beginnings often tell a different story. Let's start with Eminem. He spent a significant part of his early life in a Detroit neighborhood that was mainly working class and predominantly inhabited by black residents. He had a turbulent childhood. His mother allegedly struggled with drug and alcohol addiction. His father abandoned the family and he experienced considerable abuse in his early life. This will be the east side of Detroit. There, there, you no. actually doesn't look that bad. No. Excuse me. What if we take a look in the backyard? Uh, do you remember the backyard? Yeah, about two blocks down. Mm -hmm. I didn't go to Osborne, but I used to go, I used to go walk to this other school. Um, Interestingly, his childhood home was featured on the covers of his albums, Marshall Mathers LP in 2000 and 2013. When he made it big in the music scene, he upgraded his living situation. He bought a magnificent mansion in Rochester Hills, Detroit, which spanned 15, 129 square feet. In bigger house located in Rochester Hills, Michigan, it's only 30 minutes away from the Clinton Township home. This house is so big, you could lose yourself in it. The mansion boasted six bedrooms, nine bathrooms, along with amenities like a tennis court, a lake, a pool, a launch dock, and a five-car garage. He bought this property for 4.75 million US dollars back in 2003. The next on our list is Ariana Grande, who's kind of the younger superstar on this list and has always seemed to be living the good life. She was born into a family that owned their own business, so she grew up in this really fancy house down in Boca Raton, Florida. It wasn't just any house, it was super modern, spacious, and even had its own swimming pool. After becoming famous, Ariana Grande expanded her collection of properties. I can actually see my house from up here. Oh, which one is it? It's that cloud. You live on that cloud? One notable addition was a contemporary mansion in the Hollywood Hills, reportedly costing close to $14 million. This lavish home features a pool, a gym, a wine cellar stocked with up to 300 bottles, and get this, a panoramic view of the entire city of Los Angeles. Talk about living the dream, right? While Ariana Grande's childhood home was quite luxurious, Rihanna didn't exactly grow up surrounded by luxury. She spent her early days in a cozy little bungalow over in St. Michael Barbados, sharing the space with her parents and two brothers, Rory and Rajad. Rihanna and her two younger brothers, Rory and Rajad, lived with their parents in this bungalow. So, is it okay if we have a look around inside? I just wanted to show her my home that I grew up in. One, yeah. These windows, we would hang out on this window. My, me, my brother, and my mom stayed in here. I used to help my mom cook, and I learned everything in over the kitchen right here. Right on that stove. Yep. Wow. After getting really famous, she spent a ton of that money on buying properties. Back in 2021, she went all out and dropped nearly $14 million on a huge estate in Beverly Hills. Rihanna's mansion there, covering about 7,600 square feet, is absolutely stunning. It sits on a massive lot of almost 22,000 square feet and boasts five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, a gym, and entertainment spaces including a fancy outdoor courtyard with multiple levels, a fire pit, and a pool. But what about Taylor Swift? Taylor Swift is known for having multiple homes, so many that it's hard to keep track. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Come in. Thank However, she considers Nashville, Tennessee, her hometown, as she's lived there since she was 10 years old. Before becoming a global star, she lived with her family in a three-story house that was quite nice, roomy, classy, and definitely cozy. In 2009, she purchased a penthouse in Nashville for $2 million. This two-story penthouse features three bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms. Whenever she's in Nashville, she stays here, enjoying her time by watching movies and hanging out with her cats. Taylor Swift's impressive property portfolio extends beyond her hometown, encompassing residences in New York, Rhode Island, and California. Finally, we have Selena Gomez, the young singer, actress, and producer. She started her career at just 10 years old by appearing on the TV show Barney and Friends. 
Before hitting it big, she lived in a simple one-story house in a typical Texas suburb. Similar to Taylor Swift, Gomez is also interested in real estate. She bought a $4.9 million mansion previously owned by singer-songwriter Tom Petty. This 9,000-square-foot home, also called the Musical Mansion, is perfect for musicians with its recording studio and vocal booth. It has six bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, a wine cellar, a massage room, and a cool sunken living room, among other luxurious features. Additionally, Selena Gomez boasts ownership of multiple properties, with residences situated in both California and vibrant neighborhoods in Texas. Which celebrity's house transformation surprised you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.